Hey everybody, it's Coach RJ and we are back with Vanna Beige and we've, we're reviewing two supplements today. We got Sinephrine versus Ephedrine. Now, Ephedrine is used and labeled as a nasal decongestion. Now, when it comes to fat burning, these two products are solely focused on burning calories from fat. Now, the difference between the two is Sinephrine's Ephedrine's little brother. Ephedrine is the big one. It's cheap. It's only five bucks for 50 tablets. Now, the thing about Ephedrine is that it works on three systems. Number one, it works on your heart rate. So yes, it is going to make your heart rate work a little bit harder. Number two, it's going to work on your, uh, your, your breathing. So it's going to help to open up like people with asthma will take ephedrine to help with their, to open up the bronchioles. And then number three, it works on your fat system. Okay. So those are the three that it works on. Now, um, it's gotten a bad name in the past because it is a stimulant, right? So it's just like coffee is a stimulant. Ephedrine is a stimulant as well. And so the, they've actually removed this from the market, but put it back in a smaller, safer dosage. As you can see on the label, it's labeled as eight milligrams of ephedrine. They used to actually sell these in 200 milligrams and people were sitting there taking them in like 10 tablets at a time and wondering why people were having heart conditions. Well, if you drank 10 espressos back to back to back to back, to back or took 10 caffeine pills that are 200 milligrams back to back to back to back, you're going to have some type of heart issues. So the research on these shows that ephedrine is a phenomenal fat burner, as long as you're taking it within a recommended dosage, which in a max would be about six a day, but you have to be trained to take ephedrine. So what I recommend or what I maybe suggest or how I use it, I'm not a doctor prescribing anything, is I would say that you can take one tablet to start off and see how you, you feel. If it becomes too much, then just take it off. And you would usually have it about 15 to 30 minutes pre-workout. You can also take it on your days off because again, you're burning more calories from fat. I find I burn more calories while I'm on ephedrine than when I'm not, okay? Now the thing about it, it's not like a pre-workout where you're gonna get a huge spike and then a huge crash. As long as you take it in a nice dose, you shouldn't really notice a major spike or you shouldn't really notice a major crash. You should just notice that you're sweating more and on your watch, you'll actually see that you're burning more calories. Now, for those that want to keep it safe and not affect the heart at all or the, or the lungs, open up the lungs, Sinephrine is the little cousin. Sinephrine, you would take two a day. You could take them at any time. They're a non-stimulant and they've been proven to burn an extra 200 calories per day with just two tablets and isolating fat as feel. So you can take these before to bed and it wouldn't, you wouldn't have any, like you wouldn't be woken up. Whereas ephedrine is going to wake you up. So either, or I recommend ephedrine over synephrine just because of its effectiveness and its, um, uh, price are, are, are all there. But again, if you have any underlying heart conditions, uh, maybe you have something that affects with that. You can't have your like adrenaline moved up. You can't have that kind of like stimulant then, you know, maybe can consult somebody first, but otherwise, uh, Fedrin to me is one of the best fat burning products on the market. And, uh, I suggest you do your own research because it's out there and it works. So Fedrin five bucks, Sinephrine 22 bucks for a one month supply. And, uh, that's my review on a Fedrin versus Sinephrine. Thank you, big mama for being such a great co-host and we'll see you on the next video.